So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Yes, I'm already shaking my head because you ever look at something? I mean, really look at something and really try to find like the good in it. <laughs> Even if, like reading something, for example, and just read it over and over and over again, trying to find the good in it. That's what I'm doing right now with this title right here, with this video we're about to check out. It says, scientists hope that their discovery is a mistake. It's a mistake. <laughs> what did they see? Question mark. Yeah, that one right there don't make me feel good about this video at all. Just judging by that, the tone, I'm already off. But we're going to check this out anyway. If you new, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and real quick, PSA public service announcement. Please, if somebody's reaching out to you in the comment section proclaiming to be me, it's not me, bro. I would never ask y'all to go to a different platform to communicate or something like that, man. Y'all got to be careful. These scammers are out here at an all-time high, bro. Do not. I would make the announcement here if I was going to do something somewhere else. So know that if you didn't hear it coming from me, don't trust nothing in those comment sections. All right. So with that being said, let's check this video out. Here we go. That's what our universe looks like if you look at it through a device that detects microwave background radiation. The blue color indicates low temperature areas and orange high temperature. But what is this strange line here? Scientists call it the axis of evil. It was noticed in satellite images. Great. That's what I wanted to hear something being called. <laughs> the axis of evil. Does that make you feel good, warm, cuddly, huh? All warm inside? No, it does not. Sorry. The axis of whoever named that, bro, we gotta relocate him to a different position. We ain't gotta fire him, but he needs to be in a different position. Cause the naming of things. Nah, that's not his specialty, bro. The axis of evil. Are y'all crazy? Don't name nothing that. Orange high temperature. But what is this strange line here? Scientists call it the axis of evil. It was noticed in satellite images back in 2005, and since then, it's become a nightmare for the scientific world. Some researchers believe that the axis of evil doesn't exist. Others believe it'll change everything we know about space. But most scientists are simply frightened by it. In this video, you'll find out. I'm alone with them. I, at this point, I'm frightened by it, just based off the name. <laughs> Most scientists are simply frightened by it. In this video, you'll find out why is humanity a statistical fluke? Where is the center of the universe? And why are scientists so concerned about the axis of evil? How is the axis of evil related to the center of the universe? Let's look at this image once again. What can we see here? Stars? Galaxies? Not really. This is the cosmic microwave background, or rather the echoes of the Big Bang. At the stage of birth, the universe was filled with hot plasma. But over time, in the expansion process, it cooled down to 3,000 kelvins and atoms began to form in it. Scientists call- See, that's another question I have, though. Are we even sure that the Big Bang is really what we believed it to be and what it caused the universe to become. I had a, I, the more and more I hear the big bang tossed around, the more and more I question it, you know what I mean? And that's natural. You know what I mean? Some would even say that science, that's natural to question things, you know? So I guess I have that growing ability with this rabbit hole we're traveling down that comes with the territory. I get it, but that's what I'm starting to feel, you know, just, you know, wanting to question it more, not necessarily saying I don't believe it or anything like that. No, it's just wanting to question it more. Down to 3000 kelvins and atoms began to form in it. Scientists call this period the epoch of recombination. When the universe was 380,000 years old, there was more space between particles and photons could then move freely. 
It's these photons, or relic radiation, that we see in this picture of the universe in the microwave background. In fact, this is an image of what our universe was like 13.7 billion years ago. Wow. And here comes the most exciting part. Scientists reasonably suggest that the cosmic microwave background radiation should be homogenous. No matter where we are in space, we'll observe the same pattern of radiation, which means an equal number of blue and orange areas. The universe doesn't have any direction or center, so it must be the same whichever way you look at it. Most of our knowledge about space is based on this, and it's this theory that the mere existence of the axis of evil disproves. But how can the universe be homogeneous if it contains stars, planets, and other clusters? And not only clusters for that matter, but also voids. For example, the largest of them, the Eridanus supervoid, basically occupies about 11% of the observable universe. Do you know how scientists explain the existence of galaxies and voids? Statistical fluke. It's believed that on the scale of the universe, such clusters of matter look like minor deviations from homogeneity. But is this really true? Initially, at the end of the last century, scientists suspected that the universe wasn't homogeneous. In 1989, NASA launched the Cosmic Background Explorer, a satellite aimed at studying the CMB. But the COBE instruments weren't powerful enough. And although the collected data was enough to suspect a slight inhomogeneity in the cosmic microwave background, scientists needed more proof. And in 2001, COBE was finally replaced by another more modern probe called WMAP. Its instruments allowed it to capture a clear image, literally. Analysis of the data collected by the probe showed that the universe is, in fact, inhomogeneous. And there's a specific pattern to that. It turned out that there are inhomogeneities and deviations within relic radiation, and they line up along an invisible line. Joao Magueyo, professor at Imperial College London, called this line the axis of evil. But the WMAP probe didn't answer all the scientists' questions. Moreover, some still considered the axis of evil a mere mistake. So they needed another mission that would finally dot the I's and cross the T's. In 2009, the European Space Agency launched another spacecraft to study the microwave background radiation, the Planck Telescope. It was equipped with two receivers, a low-frequency one with a range of 30 to 70 gigahertz, and a high-frequency one with a range of 100 to 857 gigahertz. Both instruments cooled down to a temperature that was only one-tenth of a degree above absolute zero. The Yo, one thing about us and one thing I admire about us and our scientists and stuff like that, we sent up the Kobe. It wasn't well equipped to, to handle everything that we needed to gather the information, right? Bring it back. Then we bring out the W map. You know what I mean? We're going to figure now we got the James Webb that took over, uh, well, taken over for the Hubble. Like, we're going to continue to progress, continue to build and figure out and adapt and regroup and come back to the table. And like, that's one thing that excites me about this, bro. Like, nothing is stopping our scientists, fam. They are dedicated, bro. That makes me smile. Down to a temperature that was only one-tenth of a degree above absolute zero. This let the telescope give scientists an even clearer image of the CMB. In 2013, scientists analyzed Planck's first data, and it turned out that the axis of evil hadn't gone anywhere. But the European Space Agency researchers weren't satisfied with this answer. In 2016, a team of scientists from University College London and Imperial College London once again analyzed the data collected by the Planck telescope over four years of operation. This time, a supercomputer was used for the analysis, and the scientists were finally able to relax. According to the results, the probability that the universe isn't homogenous and the axis of evil really exists is only 1 in 121,000. But don't get upset right away. 
it's not the end. In March 2022, the space-based Chandra X-ray Observatory frightened scientists once again. It studied 300 clusters of galaxies and found that their brightness is very different, although they're at the same distance from Earth. This could mean that the universe isn't homogenous and is expanding unevenly. So, scientists will have nightmares again. Yeah, but what's causing us to expand like that, though? You know what I mean? What's going on? I can't just hear expand and and not wonder what's the cause of it. What what are we not seeing? What are we not figuring out, noticing? What it, what what's causing us? Yeah, that makes me that makes me uneasy. Earth. This could mean that the universe isn't homogenous and is expanding unevenly. So, scientists will have nightmares again. But why are they so afraid of the axis of evil? Scientists build up their theories about space based on the fact that the universe is homogenous. But what are these theories and what will change if the axis of evil really exists? Most likely, we'll have to completely forget about the Big Bang Theory. The main point is that during the Big Bang, our universe didn't shatter into pieces like after a usual explosion. Each area of the universe expanded separately and equally. So if the universe isn't homogenous, the Big Bang Theory doesn't work. And scientists will have to look for a new explanation of where everything came from. But that's not the worst part. Yo, like, and I was just, that was just a mere thought, but to hear it, like, you ever had that weird feeling <laughs> that, like, I don't even know how to explain it right now, to hear that echo what I was just saying earlier, not even saying, we don't, we, we don't know if it's true, but just to hear that be a possibility now, Bro, if that don't give you chills, that gives me chills, man. Because we we've we've hung on hung on to to a thought to to some data from earlier that we all believe to be true to a certain extent. But sometimes you got to go back and reevaluate that to make sure. You know what I'm saying? especially when you're getting in other data that's saying otherwise and completely, you know what I mean, contradicts everything that you've come to believe about the past. Like that just, whew, bro, I feel like I can go outside and run right now hearing that. Explanation of where everything came from, but that's not the worst part. The speed of light may also change for us. After all, relic radiation is photons, particles that move at the speed of light. What if we see dissimilarities, not because of a defect in the universe, but because the speed of light isn't as constant as we thought? But most importantly, if the axis of evil really exists, scientists will have to rethink 90% of existing knowledge about space. Can you imagine the amount of work to be done then? What would you do if you were a scientist? Would you work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just because a telescope captured something? Or would you ignore the new discoveries so there's no need to redo everything? Write in my comments. And check out this video to find out what's gonna happen. Man, listen, bro. I ain't telling nobody they should work. But that new information, that's kind of like a game changer right there, bro. You know what I mean? That's like writing a paper and getting to the end and then realizing that the information that you've been writing, everything that you've known, that you wrote about, may not be true. So now you got to ball it up and start over. Go back to the beginning. A lot of times you got to go back to the beginning. That's like therapy. You got to go back to the beginning to figure out what may be wrong with you. And that may be what we need to do question the speed of light this axis of evil the big bang like all that stuff needs to be kind of kind of questioned because if we're expanding and stuff is not constant then what does that even mean what does that mean i don't know 
But you know me, I got questions now. I got questions now. And that means more videos. So I hope y'all alone for the ride, bro. I hope this is interesting to y'all as much as it is interesting to me. It piques my interest. It has me on a whole different like mindset. And it's different, man. You know what I mean? Somebody was saying in the comment section they appreciate me for going left when everybody else is going right sometimes. And sometimes I told y'all, bro, that's just my that's my ADHD in myself, you know what I mean? That can't stay on one topic for one. You know what I mean? So I, I move around, you know, started off rugby, then music, reactions, then moved into um y'all know the history. And now we're here. You know what I mean? I have to keep moving around. And I'm glad y'all appreciate it. And thank y'all for rocking with me. All right. So if y'all like the video, man, give it a like. Stick around and stay tuned. Till next when I'm gone. Peace.